اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to talk about correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient describes the direction and strength of linear relationship. Now, previously, we have visualized between two quantitative variables using scat plots. We have also described the overall pattern of the relationship by considering its direction, form and strength. We noted that it is difficult to assess the strength of relationship just by looking at the scatter plot. Now in this section we develop a numerical measure to assess the strength of this relationship or the relationship between two variables. We only focus on relationships that have linear form. Now linear forms are quite common and relatively simple to detect. More important, we have a numerical measure that can assess the strength of the linear relationship. Now the measure of strength we are about to study can be used only for linear relationships. And that measure of strength is R, that is the correlation coefficient. And this is a numeric expression that can measure the strength and direction of linear relationship between two quantitative variables. By direction, we mean that this correlation coefficient will have a sign with it. Now, if it has a negative sign, then the direction is opposite. That is, increase in one variable leads to a decrease in the other. Now, the negative sign would mean that there is an inverse relationship between the two quantitative variables. Now, how do we interpret that correlation coefficient of R? Now, there are no strict guidelines for interpreting the strength of correlation coefficient, that is R. However, some researchers have proposed the following guidelines. So, what is the first guideline? A correlation coefficient of 0.1 or less is considered very weak. A correlation coefficient of 0.1 to 0.3 3 is considered weak. Now, the correlation coefficient ranges between 0 to 1. And on either sides, that is, if it's closer to 0, it is weak. And the closer it is to 1, it is strong. Now, it can be negative and it can be positive. A correlation coefficient of 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 is considered moderate. Now, it could be plus 3, that is a positive moderate or positively moderating relationship. Now, it could be minus 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.5 or it could be plus 0 0.3 or plus 0 0.5. Now minus here would mean there is an inverse relationship between the two variables. Plus obviously means a positive relationship. Correlation coefficient between 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 is considered strong and finally anything over 0.7 is considered very strong. Now obviously a correlation coefficient over 0.85 would mean there are issues of multicollinearity. That means that both these constructs whose relationship is being assessed are actually measuring the same thing. They are more or less identical. Now it is important to note that these are just guidelines and the interpretation of strength of a correlation coefficient may vary depending on specific context and research question. Now obviously these are general guidelines and different scholars, statistics experts, or statisticians have recommended different guidelines. Now you may refer to different, obviously, text that is available maybe on books.google.com or in your own library to see what other viewpoints are there. Now, how do we interpret it? Let's look at an example. Now I'm going to test it, the relationship between these two variables. How to do this? Let's do it in SPSS. So go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. Now I have already created a single composite variable of vision and organizational performance. How did I do it? Well, I've, I did it in the previous session as well. So what you need to do is just simply transform it or compute 
a single variable by taking the mean of these four variables and similarly for op as well so let's put in vision here op here pearson all good just simply press okay now here is the correlation the correlation between vision and op is 0 0.66 0 0.622 so what about this? What is this? Now this here is the correlation between vision and vision. Obviously this is bound to be 1 because both are identical. The correlation between vision and OP is positive because there is no sign here. Now is it significant? Yes it is significant. Why is it significant? Because the p-value is less than 0.05. Now my interest when we are assessing relationship between variables is is to assess the strength but before strength I, want, I also want to assess the significance of relationship now in this case the relationship is significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and that's the general rule in social sciences research or general research when we are assessing the significance of relationship the p-value that is taken into account is 0 0.05 so if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, you will say your hypothesis is accepted. That is your alternate hypothesis. That is, you reject your null hypothesis. This is your sample size. Now again, this is just mere repetition. First, it was vision with vision and OP. Now it's OP with vision and OP. Now how do you want to present it? You can just simply remove this particular section here or this particular section here when you are presenting your results in a word document i'll just show you how to do this as well now the correlation coefficient is 0.622 and what do we mean by this let's have a look so it falls here so this means there is a strong relationship according to this criteria now the r value between vision and organizational performance is 0.622 the R value is positive, that is it is greater than zero, which means that, there, that the relationship between vision and organizational performance is positive. We can see that this in the scatter plot as well. So how did we do the scatter plots? Let's quickly go back and do it. Just go to analyze, oh sorry, graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot. Let's do a simple one. Now let's add vision to X axis. OP to Y axis and press OK. And here you see the direction of the dots, the increase in vision, and then there is an increase in OP as well. You see the tendency is right here. Now, if you see here, look at this. There is this tendency here. The scores are clubbed here, joined here. At the top right with an increase in vision there is an increase in organizational performance moving on now in the context of the data the positive correlation confirms that the understanding and clear communication of the company's vision can help improve organizational performance because if you are increasing the vision the understanding of the vision the acceptability of the vision the performance is increasing now there are different properties of correlation coefficient. Now the correlation coefficient do not change with the change in the unit of measurement. In other words, if we change the unit of measurement for an explanatory variable that is your predictor, the outcome variable will have no effect. That is, there is no effect on the R that is your correlation coefficient. The correlation measures only the strength of linear relationships between two variables it ignores any other type of relationship no matter how strong it is so the objective of correlation coefficient is to measure the strength the higher the correlation coefficient the higher the strength the correlation by itself is not enough to determine whether the relationship is linear or not now to see this we will have to look at r square along with the scatter plot now the variables may have strong relationship, the correlation does not tell us whether the relationship is linear, we will have to see the scatter plot and in this case, this is my scatter plot. So double click on it, go to elements, fit line total, 
and as we did in the last session as well these dots here shall be closer to this line here the more they are closer to this line the more we can accept that there is a linear relationship between the two in this case we can say to a certain extent it is a linear relationship now how do we further let's say now how do we report the correlation now a pearson correlation was calculated to examine the relationship between the variables the correlation coefficient was now what is this n this is 341 that is your sample size and the correlation coefficient was 0.622 p value obviously less than 0 0.001 and this indicates a strong positive relationship between let's say instead of variables we write vision and organizational performance now this example is good enough when you've got only two variables so this is how you write your hypothesis or present your correlation results when you've got two variables now what if you've got more than two variables and you you need a correlation matrix so how do you get a correlation matrix now let's remove this go to analyze correlate bivariate you do not need to do anything else just add the third variable here and this will give you a correlation matrix now you can use one tailed if you know that the possibility of the relationship is positive or negative now based on literature review you know that okay this relationship is presumed to be positive now you are expecting the relationship to be positive or negative you can use one tailed now, if you're not sure whether the relationship would be positive or negative, you can use two-tailed. In this case, let's use one-tailed. Press OK. Now, here is your correlation matrix. Let's use it. Let's format it in Word document. Now, first thing, right-click here. Auto-fit to window. Add your borders. Now, now let's say table one correlation matrix now i do not need this cell here remove it and i just need correlation so what i'll do is go to table this layout and put it in one cell here the variable or the construct names now they are done I do not need the significance and n. Let's remove it. Now this one, remove it, put it outside your table and write a note. Remove the cell. Now there is a repetition. Normally what we do is we remove the values above the diagonal. And layout now remove this as well right select it right click and delete now again click here auto fit to window now obviously just select these three cells with the data home center now finally click here and home let's say no border then bottom border top border and then bottom border here now describe your correlation coefficients how to do this i've got an example here copy paste it here a Pearson correlation matrix was calculated to examine the relationship between variables now which are your variables let's put them here that is vision vis comma organizational performance you may change the order comma development
the matrix presented in table 1 that there was a strong positive relationship or correlation between let's say vision and organizational performance so r was let's say the sample size was this r is 622 and the p value was less than 0 0.001 which we can see in the original matrix here now there was a, a moderate now again it was a strong but if it was moderate we could write moderate and again this was positive so if this would have been negative we would have mentioned negative correlation between development and organizational performance again r 3341 now obviously you might have 10 15 variables so you do not just describe the relationship of each variable with the other variable what you need to do is you simply report those relationships that are significant or important for the rest of them you can mention no other significant correlations were found that's it so this is how you perform correlation in spss thank you very much